Let's take a look at the buffer tool now in QGIS. For any GIS analyst, this is just a core skill. And in QGIS, you can access the buffer tool via the vector menu and geoprocessing tools and then buffer. I prefer to just click on the processing toolbox button and search for buffer. And in this case, we're gonna do a buffer on the M8 motorway. It runs between Scotland's two biggest cities, Glasgow and Edinburgh. And let's imagine we want to find the area within 10 kilometers either side of the M8. I'll double click the buffer tool and I'll choose M8 motorway as the input layer. Instead of 10 meters, we'll choose kilometers. I'll leave everything else as it is. And if you want to save the layer to a permanent new layer, you can click the browse button and save it to a geo package or any other file format. I'll just create a temporary layer this time. So 10 kilometers is my buffer around the M8. I'll hit run and we get something like this. So don't be worried if this happens, I'll explain why. My road layer is actually made up of about 129 different segments. So sometimes you have this where the thing you're buffering on is comprised of lots of different parts, even if it's one feature like the M8 motorway. So we'll just go back to the buffer tool, double click it, make sure the input layer is the M8 motorway. We're gonna choose 10 kilometers. Segments, we'll increase that to 50 to give the buffer a smooth edge. And the key thing here is we're gonna click dissolve result. So instead of loads of circular buffers, we'll have one big one around the whole M8. I'm not gonna save this, I'm just gonna create a temporary file. If you do want to save it, remember, click the browse button and save to GeoPackage or another file format. Don't just type in this box. I'll hit run now and I'll close this and then we get a result. I will just change the symbology to a kind of slightly transparent blue and there we go. So there's our result. That's the buffer tool. You can access it via the processing toolbox like I did or via the vector menu, geoprocessing and buffer. And once you're there, you can see you can use all sorts of different units, meters, kilometers, feet, miles, yards, and so on. Just remember, if your feature is comprised of different parts, make sure you tick the dissolve result box.